Hey guys, I'm talking about infinite loops today. This is something I've run into more as a game developer than I have in 20 years of developing other things. So I figured I would show you how to get out of one if you're ever stuck in this situation. So let's show what happens in an infinite loop. In case you've never seen one of these before, I've set one up uh, artificially so you can see what happens. So I push play and basically your game just stops. This could happen at any point in time. In this case, I've got it at the very beginning. And right now you see I say update scene. There's nothing I can do here. I can't click on anything. I can't uh, stop it. I can't do anything. So here's how you get out of it. So if you're in your, uh, here's my infinite loop that I've made for this little guy. You notice you don't even see the debug log because it's just locked. But if you're stuck in this situation, the easiest way to get out of it is to attach to Unity. If you've got your Visual Studio set up correctly, you should be able to see that little button there. And then you're going to see a little threads uh, window. If you don't have that, then that's under debug windows and then threads. You can see it right there. If you pause it, you'll notice you're not in any code that's something you can look at. But when you pause it here, now you start to see some some weird stuff going on. There's multiple threads going on, but one will have some English. The rest will say weird stuff or nothing at all. What you can do here is you can see it's running through all this code. And there, there's one of my methods. And you can click on that. And that's not where my bug is. But if I go here, you can actually see that it is highlighting on the line that's breaking and it's stuck in this infinite state. When you do that, you can now delete this code. And the problem is, you know, and you, if you've ever run, experienced one of these, Unity is toast. The only way to get it going is you got to kill it in Task Manager. This is Windows, of course, but uh, you know, there's a way to kill it, force quit, in, in Mac, and you can reload it here. So that shows you the um, severity of a infinite loop and how to get out of it. Um, I don't want you to think that if you run into one that you've you're a bad coder or anything like that. If you have a while true, you probably should uh, double check your code and see why. In my case, what I had was my characters were uh, always stuck because the guy they were targeting every once in a while, he would be dead. This is the actual fix, but he was already dead because someone else killed it. So when I checked, he was never in the attack range ever. So he would just constantly be stuck in this loop. Um, and so it wasn't something very obvious that I had done. Um, but it does, was pretty tricky. So don't feel bad if it happens to you. It happens to me uh, more often than I'd like to admit. Um, but if you do a while true, sometimes you think that that's a good idea. I would challenge you to get rid of that wherever possible. Um, but if you can't, for some reason, um, there you if you get stuck in one of these, um, do the debug, uh, thread view, and you'll be able to get out. Hopefully this helps you guys. And uh, let me know if there's anything else uh, you're getting stuck with it with your game development. Or if uh, you have any questions about um, our game, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.